There was a rise of high elo play of LeBlanc support. Well, at least there was a few weeks ago. But I didn't get to it at that time, and I got to it now. But it really makes me excited because I love off meta supports. I used to play LeBlanc a decent bit, and I've tried LeBlanc support out before, and she always felt pretty good. So I wanted to make this video, especially when I saw her on the rise as a support pick. She is outrageously bursty, very safe, can snowball extremely hard, and has very high mobility and outplay potential. Now there is some caveats. She is more difficult to play than other, like, straight up champions. She can't really mash buttons because that kind of misplaces you. Um, very mana hungry early and falls off really late or if she's behind. Now like I said she's a burst mage so her abilities are all bursty. Well most of them. She does have a peekaboo passive. When she goes below 40% HP she'll cover eyes to go invisible to the enemy. Then after one second she'll come back with a clone. My god babies love it. Her Q is this ball thing she shoots out, marks the target, deals damage, then if you hit the target again with another ability it'll pop the ball dealing bonus damage. Her W is the hit and run. LeBlanc will quickly dash to the target direction, dealing damage at the landing point. Then if you activate it again, you'll go back to the original casting location. Her E is chain them up, mommy. This will throw out a chain to the enemy, deal damage, and if they stay within a certain range for a short period of time, after you hit them, it'll handcuff them, and they take a little bit more damage. And they're rooted. Last up, her ult is ability 2, electric boogaloo. It'll copy the last ability you cast, and that's really mostly all it is. Most of the times you want to use it on your W, but you can use it on the other abilities as well. Now, I said damage a few times in those descriptions, so I feel like you know where we're going with this. Her runes are going to be the damaging runes. Electrocute for additional damage, sudden impact, eyeball collection, and honestly any of the last runes kind of work. For a secondary tree we go smurf because we want to smurf all over them. Mana flow for more mana and gathering storm for more mana and damages. Now the best part about this build is you don't really change it from the block bit. You just want to be bursty. Loon's companion, storm chasers, shadow flame, all those are great in the new season. You're gonna be Critting on your abilities, and that's fantastic. But after that, any AP item's pretty good. Zonia's a pretty good choice, so probably get that one. Oh, and, and you get your support item. Woo! Now, if you'd like to free me from my customer service prison, please subscribe, like, and comment to help me with that YouTube algorithm, and let me know anything that I missed. And that's it. We did it. We're in the game, and we're going to take this map and these mixed drinks, because, you know, new item. You know, I, I don't really have a lot of... uh works about that one yet. Honestly, like I said before, you're mostly the same as mid lane, except you don't have to worry about farming. And in this role, you really just want to keep the enemy off the wave for the threat of that all in. Generally, when you're in the lane, here's what you want to do. The easiest and most damaging way to get a combo off is QWEW. And that will just get you to safety. This should proc your electrocute and generally is an easy half health on an ADC or the support early, honestly. This is a freebie and the enemy will play a bit more safe after you do it to them once. When that does happen, they're generally going to play backwards. So after that, you want to W closer to them. Q, E, auto to get that electrocute proc. Then you can W back to your original location. That will get you a nice burst of damage. Not as high, but still great and very safe. Once you do have your alt, you generally just want to double W someone since that's the best scaling ability. That's what you want to do that deals a ton of damage and uh yeah, that's kind of it. Now, in the early game, unlike in the mid lane, we're a little more vulnerable since we're playing against two enemies, so we want to make sure to control the brush. If the enemy has like a Xerath or a Lux, anyone with a stun or root that moves in a straight line, then you do want to be a little bit more careful because when you W in, if, if you get hit, it just means certain death. But you do want to max your W because it gives you the highest potential damage, but you can be flexible and max your Q or E if something goes awry. Watching for ganks is needed, but hey, you can survive as long as you're smart with your W. Your ADC, on the other hand? Uh, uh, they, we're just gonna leave that up to fate. But dealing damage is the name of the game, and once you hit level 6, it gets even better. Now, I said it before, and I'll say it again. For a long distance engage, W, Alt, Q, E, W to go a long way and deal a good bit of damage. Or you could just stick with the standard combo, Q, W, Alt, E, and then W back to your original location. Got it? Got it. Now, if you don't get the kill, your ADC should be able to fall up and clean up because you'll deal like 75% of their HP at least. Just get kills, push lanes, get plays, get towers. Now, let's take a look at that mid game. Now, with LeBlanc, we want to control vision because we're most dangerous when the enemy doesn't know where we are. We're in the shadows. Now, don't forget your oracles, and you know that's serious business because I am saying it. Basically, for the rest of the game, you want to find flanks, find picks because you're an assassin, and that's the best way for you to be productive. Even getting a full rotation on a fighter and taking out 50% of their health is worth it, so you just soften them up a bit for that fight. I know sometimes it can be tempting to just go for the kill, but trust me, if you hold for the perfect moment, then you're going to end up doing nothing. Just don't forget to get XP from Minion. Sometimes it's kind of hard to focus tunnel vision on getting the kills and you forget to level up. But just like any other support, make sure to clear
clear and place vision when the objective comes up so you can get those sweet sweet kills and that's it we did it we won the game and if you enjoyed this video check out this one we were the best gardener in all of league of legends oh my God. talk to you later